Hey everybody, it's mid-October here at the Common Milkweed and I wanted to show you something on our porch. It's a super windy but really awesomely warm day. And so I'm hoping that you can hear me okay, but I wanted to show you this birdhouse here. So it's a felt birdhouse that my mom gave me a long time ago. And we have it here on our porch with some other birdhouses. None of which have been used by birds. However, you can see this one has been completely taken over and it was by Yellow Jackets. So they started building this way early in the season at the beginning of summer. And they were in and out of here all summer long and it was just fantastic to watch. All of this paper was made by them. They'd go collect wood. I'd see them out on all the various wood structures of ours, taking up little bites of wood, mixing it with their saliva, and then putting it into its perfect place here as part of their nest. Now inside here, there's a whole bunch of different combs. They're, they are not like honeybees, so they're not making honey. But there are different stages of development. And you can see right now that nobody's coming in and out. And it seems like this nest is done for the year and they will not reuse it. So only the queens over winter, and they have headed out, found a better spot somewhere probably under a piece of wood or in a decaying log, somewhere that will protect them from the winter extremes. Everybody that is still in there, any undeveloped pupa, any larva, any workers, they're dead. So one thing I wanted to make a point about is that this has been here all summer long and I'm gonna step back. And I'm not telling you anything at all about what you should do because people are allergic to stings, etc. But look right here. This is a table and we sit here a lot and have coffee. And these yellow jackets were here all summer long and never once stung us. So I'm sure if I had walked over here at some point and hit that birdhouse or swung it around, they would all come flying out of here midsummer and stung me. But by us just sitting there having our coffee, they never bothered us. And they actually did a lot of caterpillar control, some of which was great, some of which we didn't really want as we alluded to with all of our monarch caterpillars. So I just wanted to show you that because I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to give you one last look because we're right here <laughs> on our front porch. And we're going to leave that for now. It's getting kind of odiferous and not in a good way. So we will see what happens with all that.